finally you guys we got some sunshine today welcome back to my channel my name is janet i have lost over 100 pounds following the ketogenic diet on my channel you will find a variety of things including keto meals what i eat in a day on keto and some protein sparing modified fast recipes so if that's what you're interested in then hit that subscribe button and for my returning subscribers welcome back to my channel thank you guys for all your support i really really do appreciate it we are in town doing errands today i already dropped off the dogs today's thursday actually so if you guys have been here for a while thursdays are not my normal day in town it's usually wednesdays all the time but um i managed to get the dogs grooming and today I'm getting my nails filled and I'm getting a pedicure. So I usually get a pedicure, I don't know, two or three times during the summer for sure, probably twice. I'm not the type of girl that does pedicures um, like all year round, especially here in Canada. <laughs> we have um, more cold weather than we have nice hot weather. So I tend to get it during the summertime. So that is what I'm doing today. It is 9.40 in the morning. I haven't had anything to eat or drink yet. I think I'm gonna stop at um, Tim Hortons and get a double-double, a hot coffee, just like a medium. But I'm not hungry yet. But I think I might share with you what I'm eating um, possibly today. I think I'm just gonna have one meal in town. And then I'm going to be making a new recipe later on in the video. So make sure that you stay tuned and watch that later on. So it's a beautiful day. We have had four, four or five days of rain, like downpour rain consistently for five days. There is a chance of um, the Bow Valley River, which is in Calgary, um, tends to get a lot of the moisture off of the Rocky Mountains. And then the Bow Valley River uh, flows into the South Saskatchewan River, which crosses through medicine hat here in alberta and there is a possibility of flooding if that happens if we get too much rain it melts too quickly you know um just a whole bunch of different variables um back when i think jenna was in grade nine i want to say so that was probably like five six years ago we did have a flood in medicine hat um where they did close off the um crossings on the trans canada highway and you know the South Saskatchewan River literally goes through Medicine Hat. So if that closes down, there is three or four different ways to get into Medicine Hat, like from where I live. But if the number one closes down and there's another way through town as well, if those two close down, you have to really go a long way to get to Medicine Hat. Like it adds on about another half hour. I live about half an hour, 40 minutes away from the city. So I only come to town once a week, but you know, if something like that happens, like it did way back when it's such an inconvenience and you know, it's very hard for the people that commute because we do have um, a large base outside of Medicine Hat and like thousands commute every day, like probably 5,000, uh, maybe not so much anymore, but for sure, probably two to 3,000 commute every single day. Um, but hopefully that doesn't happen. I'm keeping posted. We're supposed to be getting more rain in a couple days. Today and tomorrow is going to be nice and then rain. So I don't think I could ever live in a place that had consistent rain. And I also couldn't live in a consistent place that had hot weather. <laughs> I'm like, this today is my perfect temperature, which is 16 degrees. I know it's early in the morning. I think it's supposed to get to 20 or 21. That is my perfect weather if i can find somewhere in this world that has 16 to 20 degrees celsius weather all year round let me know down in the comments because i'm i'm moving there retirement we are moving to that spot that is my perfect temperature so i am going to go to the dollar store because i am working on a couple things on my budgeting channel on my etsy shop as much most of you know i've been keeping busy with my etsy shop it has um, really taken off which is good obviously with me just opening up my shop brings me a lot of orders but I do have a couple ideas of what I want to launch probably next month in July so if you are a subscriber on my other budgeting channel which I always have linked in the description make sure that you have your notifications on because I will be having I think two new products um, once July comes around so um, stay tuned for those so I'm gonna head into the dollar store and I will see you guys in the next clip
All right, I am. I am on my way to my nail appointment now, but unfortunately, she's not going to be able to do my pedicure today. I'm going to have to reschedule because her daughter is having lots of trouble with her asthma at school today but she does have time for my nails. So I will have to reschedule that. We're just gonna probably discuss and figure out what day works for both of us. But I totally understand. Um, since I am an asthmatic, I totally get it. Is this really shaky, you guys? I don't know, we'll see. Um, I have you set up, I'm just using my phone today. I 100% forgot my um, camera at home and I can't just go home and get it. <laughs> so I'm just using my phone to vlog today. So sorry in advance if it is shaky, but I definitely wanted to record kind of like a day in the life. When I left the house today at, um, I left at like 8.30, 9 o'clock. I literally was running around. I try to have everything ready to go when I leave, like with the dog's leashes and everything, but um, I didn't have my camera laid out with all the other stuff that I needed to do today. Um, I already went to the post office and mailed off a couple of Etsy orders, so that is done. Also went to three dollar stores today because I needed to find, um, I'm not going to say it, but it's kind of something that I'm coming out with, um, like I had mentioned in July, um, and I did find what I was looking for. So that was great news for that. Oh, it's just running around. So I'll get my nails done. After my nails, I need to go and get ceiling paint because Jimmy is working on the guest room and we need ceiling paint because he decided that he was going to um, paint the ceilings as well. So I need to go and get that. And then I need to get groceries. I decided to wait till the very end to get groceries because of it being so warm today like I know it's only right now it's actually 21 degrees Celsius so it is warm but of course in the car I don't want things to melt and I need to get lots of snacks for Jimmy and Zoe of course and I don't want them to melt in the car so I will be doing that at the very last thing before I pick up the dogs the dogs were oh, they smelled so bad you guys so bad so I will be so anxious to see them nice and clean I told them to kind of go a little bit shorter, not shaved, because you're not supposed to shave your dogs. Well, not our dogs anyways. Our dogs have hair, um, so you're not supposed to shave them because it actually prevents them from cooling off properly. So, but I, I did want them shorter because they their hair grows so fast, it's ridiculous. And it cost me $150 for both of them to get groomed. So I think I'm going to go a little bit sooner next time. It is going to cost a bit more, but you know what, it's worth it. I like having the dogs clean. It is so much work to bath them. They're excellent in the bathtub, but it is just, it's so much work on my back. And you know, to really scrub and get them clean is a lot of work, especially for Aries. Rosie, not too much because she's so small. But like I said, they love getting bath. They're really, really good. It's just a lot of work on my part. And Jimmy can't do it because his back doesn't bend that way in the bathtub. So anyways, I will be sure to show you the dogs. But right now I'm going to get my nails done and I will see you guys in the next clip. miss the drive through all right my nails are all done and I am finally gonna eat it is now 2 30 and I did have a medium double double from Tim Hortons with um, two sweetener and two cream and now I'm going to get a and W and I will um, show you how I order it and what I order Good afternoon. Welcome, Maine. Double, you may I take your order. Hi there. Can I get a double matzo burger, please, with no tomatoes and lettuce wrapped? Just the burger. All right. And That's everything. No. Can I also get a medium diet root beer, please? All right. And that's everything. That's twelve oh five at the window. Please drive ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I love diet root beer. I haven't had any for so long since I've been taking the Redmond um, Relight electrolytes. I do not drink pop anymore, but I just wanted it today. I am feeling like I am splurging, so that is going to be a nice little treat. 
So let me get out my change. Perfect. Yeah, you too. Thanks. All right. The only inconvenient thing all the time about living out of town is either somewhere to eat or somewhere to go to the washroom. It is such a pain in the butt, um, but it's just something that I deal with. So I'm just actually going to park. I hate eating in a parking lot because it just brings me back to all of like the days all the time when I would just like sit and eat in my car before I would go back home or whatever. But obviously in this situation, it's just, there's no other choice. So I am going to just park and sit and enjoy my A&W meal. I'm so excited. This is what I always get from A&W and it's absolutely delicious. Definitely not clean. I know the sauce is not clean keto. It is fairly low in carbs, but I just love it. I love the matzo burgers from there. So that is what I'm having. And I will see you guys in the next clip. I need to get paint, like I had mentioned. And I also need to go grocery shopping and pick up the dogs. So I will catch you guys in the next clip. All right, I just picked up the dogs and we are on our way home. It is now 4.20. I have been in town since like, 9:30, 9 o'clock, and it's a long day. This is my whole day is consumed by doing errands and you know doing all the things and all of my appointments. If I have a doctor's appointment or nail appointment or anything like that, I always work it into one day. Uh, number one, if I find that when I come to town, it like breaks up my day quite a bit when I'm working from home. So that's why I try to fit it all into one day coming to town. Um, and then I can spend, you know, four days at home and working. And then also the gas prices, like 30 minutes, 40 minutes away from town, plus all the driving around that I do is easily, you know, $25 a trip. Um, so if we're making like two or three trips a week, that adds up. And so I try to fit it all into one, one day. Occasionally, Jimmy and I will come into town on the Saturday if we need to get things. But I did pick up the paint, um, the ceiling paint, so Jimmy can work on the ceiling and all the groceries and did everything except for the pedicure, but she needed to reschedule. So um, we were scheduled for that next week when I come into town. So that is it. So we are heading home. So I will catch you guys in the next clip once we get back home. I'm just gonna make some coconut shrimp. This was a recipe that I found on the internet. I will have this recipe linked in the description, um, but I'm not too, too hungry. The double double matzo burger uh, lettuce wrapped that I showed you earlier is pretty high in calories. I think it's like 700 calories. Um, I forget the rest of the macros, but it is fairly high in macros and calories. So I'm just gonna have the coconut shrimp for my second meal and let me show you how i am going to make it so the recipe that i'm linking below is for i believe 24 shrimp i have about half of that amount that i will be making and let me show you what i kind of have set up here now and the ingredients that it entails all right so in the first bowl we need to put some coconut flour now i am going to half this recipe since i don't have as many shrimp as they have in the recipe um so i'm just using it's about an eighth of a cup of coconut flour now sometimes coconut flour is um an inflammatory for me but i feel like using this much may not be too too bad it's just kind of obviously goes with the breading i don't want to leave that in there and then also with the coconut flour we will be putting salt and pepper so a little bit of pepper and also my redmond's real salt so that will be in our first bowl in the second bowl we are just going to put two or sorry one egg it calls for two i'm just going to use one large egg it also calls for the sweet chili garlic sauce what i am i don't have and i'm not going to make so i'm just going to use one egg and just lightly beat it in the second bowl 
All right, and then in this last bowl, I am going to combine some ground up pork rinds, some unsweetened coconut flakes, um, a tablespoon of carb, or sorry, keto approved um, connect confectionery, one tablespoon of keto approved um, icing sugar, confectionery sugar, some garlic powder, and some onion powder as well too. So quickly what I'm going to do is I am going to grind up some pork rinds just in my blender. These are the pork rinds that I get from Costco. So I'm going to do that and we will need um, probably a little less than a half a cup. It calls for three quarters of a cup. So that is what I'm going to put in this third bowl. Then we're gonna put about a half a cup of unsweetened coconut, which seems like a lot. I'm gonna put a little bit less because I think the recipe calls for one cup. And we are halving this recipe, but I feel like that's yeah, just a lot. Yeah. Feel like it's a lot, Jimmy. <laughs> then we are going to put about a tablespoon of swerve in there as well. And I'm going to add a little pinch of garlic powder. And then I don't have any onion powder, so I'm going to omit that. And it also calls for cayenne pepper, but I don't like anything spicy, so I'm gonna also omit that. So this is going to be our last bowl. So I think it will go, the shrimp will go in here first, and then dredge it through the egg wash. And then last will be this one here with the crushed up uh, pork rinds and the unsweetened coconut. And you will also need to have some oil in a pan and make sure that that is heated up really, really well. And we will be kind of deep frying these as well. I think these will probably work in the air fryer um, if you didn't want to deep fry them, but I just wanted to deep fry them and give them a taste. So first of all, what we are going to do is I am going to mix all of them, do it step by step and then we will heat, it, heat up the oil and fry our coconut shrimp. whatsoever. Oh, really? Jimmy, enough. The house was literally <laughs> covered in smoke. <laughs> I am so surprised. Well, I didn't want the smoke alarm to go off because it's hooked up to our security system. And then they phone us over our panel and then they send out fire trucks. So I really didn't want that to happen, but you guys, look at, <laughs> look at my coconut shrimp. I was so looking forward to this recipe. There might be a couple that are salvageable that I'll be able to taste. Jimmy, you wanna taste? No, thank you. I think there's only like literally three or four that are salvageable and yeah. honest, honestly, I am so bummed. I'm gonna have to try it again. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy's gonna have to make it for me, but let's taste one of them. This one is only slightly burnt. <laughs> let's give it a taste. Oh, and they're so good. They taste like burning. <laughs> oh. Oh 
my god, I'm so bummed. I don't even, like, I want to try this again, but I don't. Next time, I think Jimmy will be in charge of the deep frying. I am very, I'm not good at it, obviously. This is the other one that is fairly good. It is really, really good. I love the taste of it, but unfortunately, a lot of these are burnt, and I just cannot taste burnt stuff, like, eat it. Oh, we're gonna have to leave the windows open overnight. My eyes are burning. <laughs> So for everybody that thinks that I am a good cook and come up with good recipes, it doesn't always turn out really, really good. So that is it for today's video. I'm done. <laughs> I am not going to be making anything else. I need to air out this house. So thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.